Hello friends, welcome to our channel Mechanical Motivator. In this video, we are going to see a problem on section of a cube. I will be explaining the question. Later, I will explain how to write the given data and after that, I will be teaching how to draw a diagram step by step. Just follow all the instructions so that it will be very easy for you. Previously, we have solved almost 11 problems in section of solid. If you haven't seen those problems, kindly have a glance of those problems so that you can have a better understanding of the problem which we which are going to see now. A cube of side 30 mm. So when you see the word cube, the type of solid which we are going to draw will be a square. Okay. Next thing is side of uh, the cube as the side 30 mm rest on HP. So resting will be on HP on its end with the vert vertical faces inclined to the VP. So you will be having a doubt that is uh, square means we can draw in two different way right like this. So we can draw the square like this as well as like this. So one, two. So here what they are saying is the vertical face faces are inclined to VP. See this is only equally inclined. Okay. 45 degree, 45 degree. Okay. 45 degree, 45 degree. These faces are perpendicular to VP. Okay. These uh, surfaces are perpendicular. Here okay, only these surfaces are only inclined to VP. So it will be going with the, this type of square only. Type 2. It is cut by a plane perpendicular to VP and inclined 30 degree to HP. What they are saying is the cutting plane is at 30 degree to HP and meeting the axis at 25 mm above the base. So from the base, it will be meeting the axis at 25 mm. Draw its front view, sectional top view and true shape of the section. So we know very well that we are going to go with this type of diagram and this square is resting on HP. So we are going to draw this square here. Okay, so try to draw the diagram somewhat uh, to the right hand side because we will be having, we will be drawing the true shape of the section here, right. So kindly make, uh, have those things in your mind. If you draw at the end of the page means then we will, uh, we won't have the space for drawing the true shape of the section. So try to draw the base square, that is the uh, base diagram of the square here and draw the top view, front view and then cutting plane and then sectional top view and then true shape of the section. This is the way we are going to proceed with the problem. The first step is draw the reference axis. Draw the reference line like this and write x, y, v, p, h, p. The next step is we are going to draw the top view. For that we will be taking the uh, help of the cube solid which we are going to draw. The solid is cube so square we will draw. We will be going with the second uh, type. So we will be drawing the square like this. You know very well how to draw the square. So draw the square. Since it is a cube means we will be having 8 types of namings. If it is in case of a uh, square problem means we will be having only 4, four namings only. So topmost surface. The topmost surface will be uh, alphabet and bottommost will be PQRS. Okay, for the cube, top surface A, B, C, D, bottom surface is PQRS. So A, B, C, D, topmost surface and bottom P, Q, R, S. So right now we have drawn the top view. Just extend all the top view points so that we can easily plot the front view. Just project all the top view points that is A, D, C. So if you keep your scale vertically like this, if you keep your scale vertically like this, you can easily get P point. If you keep uh, your scale vertically like this from D, you can get this point. If you keep your scale vertically like this, you can get the R point. So R dash point. So 1, 2, 3. 3 points you can get. Naming a little later on. See the height of the cube has also is equal, right? So height of the cube is 40. So from the center for 40 mm, draw a line and keep a point and try to draw uh, left side 20 and left side 20 because no 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 okay not left side 20 see here from here draw a line for 40 mm and then try to extend all the line for 40 mm and try to put this box so height will be 40 uh, so just complete the box as it is then start draw, writing the naming see when you see from here you can see a right so topmost surface will be a b c d bottom is big or so you can see a so a dash you can see b but you can't see t so b dash bracket a dash you can see c so c dash here you can see P, so P dash, here you can see Q, but you can't see yes. So Q dash bracket S dash, here you can see R dash. So dimensioning, uh, this is called the extension line. So extension line should be in 2H pencil, a dimensioning line should be in H pencil, 40 and arrow head should be in HP pencil. Here also same, extension 2H, dimensioning line H, 40 and arrow head should be sharp pointed, it should be drawn with your HP pencil. Now I will tell how to draw the cutting plane. 
See here, take your uh, protector and one more thing is uh, they have mentioned very well this is it. They clearly mentioned that a cutting plane. So this is the cutting plane. See, this is the cutting plane. This cutting plane meets the axis. So this is the axis. So this is the axis. The cutting plane meets the axis at uh, 25 mm above the base. 25 mm above the base. Where we go? So 25 mm above the base. So from here, for 25 mm we keep a point. Okay. From here, for 25 mm. See, whatever diagram I have drawn is just like a rough diagram. So when you draw with exact dimension, you won't be getting exact answer like this. So whatever answer you are getting, just find a set because I don't know the uh, output of the problem. I just tell the concept and the procedure how to draw it. Okay. So don't think uh, if, I, if you are getting very near to it means it, that's correct. If you are getting here it means wrong. It's not, uh, nothing like that. Whatever diagram you are drawing with exact dimension, that is only correct. Follow the procedure and instructional rule. From here, for 25 mm, keep, keep a point. From the base, for 25 mm, keep a point. Keep your protector there. Try to draw a horizontal line. Okay, try to draw a horizontal line like this. Okay, so if I draw means uh, later on, I just rub it off. Okay, see here. Try to draw a horizontal line like this. Okay, okay, keeping, keeping this as reference. Keeping this as reference and this line, this point and this line as reference. Keep your protector and for 30 degree draw a line. So this angle will be 30 degree. Okay, this angle. Okay, keep your protector here. Uh, take an angle for 30 degree. 30 degree. I dimension outside since uh, we are having cutting points. I dimension outside from here for 30 degree draw a line and leave one mm gap and try to extend front and back. And naming is here we will be getting one cutting point between A, and A dash and B dash. So 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash. So 1 dash is between A dash and B dash, 2 dash is will be between B dash and Q dash, and uh, 3 dash will be between B dash and C dash, 4 dash is between D dash and C dash, and uh, 5 dash is between D dash and S dash. So like this only we will be naming the cutting points. The next step is Try to extend all the cutting points to your top view in order to get the sectional top view. So here this circle is very easy only. So 1 dash is between A dash and B dash right. So between A and B we can write mark as 1. 2 dash is between B dash and Q dash. So between B and Q we can mark it as 2. 3 dash is between B dash and C dash. Between uh, So if you, ex if you extend this point vertically downwards. See if you extend the 3 dash point. If you extend the 3 dash point vertically downwards like this it will be cutting uh, B and C at one point so that point is called as 3 if you extend this point vertical downwards it will be meeting D and C so D dash and C dash it will be meeting D and C at one point that point is called as 4 5 dash is between D and S so between D and S is here so we have got 1 2 3 4 5 just to join all the points and do hatching hatching should be 45 degree uh, and uh, try to draw a reference line and uh, keeping that line as reference try to draw hatching for it and uh, try to leave equal spacing for the hatching so whatever we got here whatever we got here this is called the sectional top view now we just going to draw the true shape of the section by drawing another uh, line parallel to the cutting plane so next step is very simple so if this is the cutting plane means you have to draw a line parallel to the cutting plane so if this is the cutting plane means draw a line parallel to your, keep your scale here try to drag your scale in such a way that it has to go away from different view and then we have to draw a uh, another line okay so this line is called as a new reference line so we can name it as a dash uh, here it's a dash okay French of right okay so see here draw the reference line and uh, name it as x1 y1 okay so draw another reference line name it as x1 y1 it should be parallel to the cutting plane and uh, distance doesn't matter length of the reference line is also doesn't matter now what you will do keep take your compass or keep you can use either compass or scale take your compass keep your compass at the point b measure till p uh, measure till p dash and one dash okay measure from p dash and one and try to keep your compass here and try to cut an arc then measure from a uh, uh, reference line Measure from reference line to 2, that is Q dash to 2, whatever distance you are having from here, you just cut an arc. Measure from uh, Q dash to 5, whatever distance you are having, try to cut an arc, name it as 5 1. Measure from here, reference line to 3, whatever distance you are having, keep your compass here and try to cut an arc 3 1. Measure from uh, 
reference line to 4. So, what are distance you are having? From here, you try to cut an arc. You can also use a scale for measuring. If we compass, without compass, also we can, we can mark this dimension. So, what I think is, whatever distance the section will top you is from old reference line, the same thing we should have from new reference line for the true shape of the section. Okay, this is the concept and just name it as 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1 and join all the points and uh, you have to do hatching for 45 degree and the equal spacing should be left. So, whatever diagram we got here, this is called the true shape of the section. So, right now we have completed everything. So, heading, the heading is uh, section of a curve section of a cube the height of the text should be 10 mm and bottom we should write two lines all dimensions are in mm scale 1 is to 1 the height of the text should be 5 mm for both the lines and you have to use your pro circle for writing your question number and you have to leave 20 mm from left 10 mm from top 10 mm from right 10 mm from uh, bottom for drawing the border so that your diagram will be looking good try to present your diagram as neat as possible so that it, it can get full 20 marks so I hope so this uh, explanation is very clear for you. In case if you have any doubts, you can type in the comment section. If you want us to make a video on a particular topic or particular problem also, you can type in the comment section so that we will be making videos on all those uh, topics and problems which you give to us. And do subscribe our channel Mechanical Motivator and stay tuned with our channel. We will be bringing all engineering graphics videos to your doorstep. It will be very much helpful for you during your preparation. We also have other playlists. Kindly go have a check of other playlists. Whichever is beneficial or needed for you, it will be very much useful and you can make use of it in future. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.